In this unfolding nuclear nightmare of an atomic reactor gone wild near Kiev, this is what we are hearing tonight. A United Press International report so far unconfirmed that more than 2,000 may be dead. Soviet government-controlled television officially puts the number of dead at... In 1986, the world witnessed one of the worst nuclear disasters in history when the Chernobyl power plant in Ukraine suffered a catastrophic meltdown. The explosion released a massive amount of radioactive particles into the air, contaminating a large area around the power plant. As a result, the region around Chernobyl was evacuated and became a ghost town, abandoned by humans for over three decades. But while humans left, the wildlife remained. The impact of the Chernobyl disaster is still felt to this day, not only by the thousands affected by the tragedy, but also by the lingering effects of the radiation. Despite a decline in the radiation levels over the past 30 years, the area remains hazardous. With Greenpeace estimating that it's not going to be safe for human habitation for thousands of years to come. The 2,600 km square Chernobyl exclusion zone has become a wildlife haven due to the absence of human activity. Many species, including the European bison, wolves, bears and deer, they've thrived, leading to the creation of a national reserve in the area. Plant populations have also grown, with 60 rare species recorded, and forests have become more resilient to climate change. This increase in biodiversity has brought economic benefits such as ecotourism. A study on mammal populations in the exclusion zone found that their abundance, including that of elk and deer, was comparable to non-contaminated preserves. The European bison and the horses, both introduced in the 1990s, have also thrived in the wilderness, providing hope for conservation efforts. Notably, the population of European grey wolves in the exclusion zone was found to be seven times higher than in other reserves. Previous research on smaller animals, such as birds, rodents and insects, has shown that exposure to radiation in the zone can lead to mutations and negative health effects. Studies on species such as barn swallows and voles suggest that these mutations may be passed on to future generations and these smaller animals have the potential to spread radioactive contaminants through their movements in the environment. The effects of radiation on larger animals like wolves are less clear. Other smaller animals in the area have been observed to have effects from radiation exposure such as tumours, cataracts, smaller brains and certain developmental abnormalities. The question of how radiation affects different species and at what levels of exposure the effects become significant is a controversial and active area of research. Scientists have yet to arrive at a consensus on the effects of chronic exposure to low-level radiation on living organisms. Recent research has suggested that certain animal and plant populations may have adapted to the radiation. The European tree frogs in the area have significantly darker skin compared to those outside the zone, which may protect them from the radiation. Studies have also shown that some cells of bank voles produced increased levels of antioxidants which may protect against radiation-induced toxicity. A 2014 study revealed that bird species in the exclusion zone such as barn swallows and wood warblers had undergone a resurgence. These species from areas with elevated radiation levels had higher levels of antioxidants this is obviously showing nature's ability to adapt and thrive in challenging environments. However, further research is needed to fully understand the extent of harm caused by radiation and whether certain species have truly adapted to the conditions in the exclusion zone. 
But this research may now be compromised because with recent events, the military forces took control of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant and its surrounding area. The long-term impact of military action on the ecosystems in the occupied areas near the Chernobyl power plant is uncertain. Scientists have reported that most wildlife has dispersed from the area, but it is not clear if this is a permanent change. The invasion and the presence of landmines in the region have made it difficult for scientists to conduct comprehensive studies on the effects of military action on the local wildlife. The possibility that larger animals such as deer and bison may have been affected by landmines is a major concern and the effects of this could continue for years. The success of the rewilding efforts in the exclusion zone serves as a testament to the amazing ability of nature to recover and thrive, even in the face of disaster. Nature can rewild itself and quickly bounce back to the perfect equilibrium with our help, or without us, as shown by Chernobyl.